As the Kim Trails fly, big brothers keeping watch. With that all seeing eye, earthquake sitting on time highs. I don't know, man, but something ain't right. As the Kim Trails fly, big brothers keeping watch. What's up, friends? This is Derek. I'm downtown Houston. Today is Saturday, January 25th, the Global March Against Geoengineering. And I'm here with a few different people for the, with the Houston Freethinkers. We're passing out flyers, informing people about the dangers of weather modification and sci the science of geoengineering, aka chemtrails. It's a good day, the weather's beautiful, but there are some lines up in the sky, so we're gonna inform some minds. Enjoy. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't ever get discouraged when only a few people show up to your protest. Remember, it's only a few of us, but we can change the whole world by starting with ourselves. Every conversation is a piece of the revolution. Stay tuned. With that all seeing eye, earthquake sitting on time highs. I don't know, man, but something ain't right. As the chemtrails fly, big brothers keeping watch. With that all seeing eye, earthquake sitting on time highs. I don't know, man, but something ain't right. Some say MJ knew too much and was about to tell it all until with his last needle he was stuck. They say this more than what hope is going up. And up. He said he'll, he'll do some research about it. The other one, he said he doesn't know anything about. It. Good job. But the science of geoengineering, the publicly stated reason for it is to combat global warming. Okay. So geoengineers have proposed doing everything from like spraying aerosols from planes to um, like trying to reflect sunlight with satellites. They propose a whole different range of, right. of uh, you know methods of geoengineering. But solar radiation management using the planes is just one particular kind of that people, speculators believe is active. You know, right, right. publicly right now they say it's in the research stage, that there's models going on. And actually recently there's been a big backlash against it where um, there's a couple of studies, I think, basically their models showed that if they were to do geoengineering, that we could lose blue skies in like 20, 30 years because they said we could end up seeing a haze as a result of the over. And because, you know, it's kind of hard for them to model and to calculate how spraying over one area is going to affect the temperatures in a whole other world. Like they're saying, you know, they could create they could try to modify the weather, say, in the U.S., and then end up causing a drought in Africa or something because of how global weather is affected like, by everything. Like using the, the weather as a, as, a, like a, as a weapon, almost, kind of like... The, the, well, the, the military has wrote, written a paper, it's called Weather as a Force Multiplier, uh -huh. using the weather as a weapon by 2025. It was declassified, and I think it's a 1997 paper, and that's when they first, that's the first paper that they talk about using it as a, as a weapon, and that's why there's the NMOD Treaty, which is the Environmental Modification Treaty that was signed by all participants of the United Nations, where they agreed that they would not use weather modification as a weapon. Because the technology exists, and it's actually existed since the early 1940s when they, the U.S. and I believe the Russians first started experimenting with like creating storms using like cloud seeding was the original ver like version, which is the more common method. Like there's a there's a company called Weather Modification Incorporated. You go to weathermodification.com. It shows you a list of their clients. And but what's the evidence that shows it's harmful to us or what's? Well, the thing about it is it's difficult to know. Well, I mean, think for one. Aluminum, barium, strontium, these different things they talk about spraying are, are harmful chemicals. Yeah, they're, they're harmful to us in general. So if it is happening, then it would be going in soil, plants, maybe on our skin or water or whatever you're consuming it. But since the, the separation is basically the science exists of geoengineering, weather modification exists, they, you know, they have the technology to do it. China openly has done it. They did it before the Olympics. But the separation there is they say it's in the, the, you know, the geoengineers say it's only in the research phase and there's no active programs. And others who see the planes, you know, spraying with crisscrossing and leaving lines and leaving a haze, they say, well, I think that that's, like, you know, whether it's a rogue government or a scientist or some corporation privately doing it or whatever, it seems like somebody has started to either test the programs out or maybe they're already doing it covertly and they're not ready to tell the public. I don't know, the whole thing is just like people in general are just trying to raise awareness. Today is a actually a global day of action. It's a new world and they're demanding order. Disagree to concentration camps, they'll deport ya. And most of these Forbes does. It's who I'm talking about, the very small percent who owns the biggest share of wealth. And once after y'all broke a deal with them, that's when the IWL started building. Willing to kill innocent men, women, and children by crashing planes in the buildings to fulfill it. A prophecy most couldn't even fathom. A one world government controlling the masses. 
the chemtrails fly. Big brothers keeping watch. With that all seeing eye, earthquake sitting on time highs. I don't know, man, but something ain't right. As the chemtrails fly, big brothers keeping watch. With that all seeing eye, earthquake sitting on time highs. I don't know, man, but something ain't right. When I was young, I used to think they were jet streams, but now I know. Things ain't always what it seems, you never know. When I was young, I used to think they were jet streams, but now I know. Things ain't always what it seems, you never know. You never know.